Today, our topic is Advancement in Modern Biotechnology in Principle and Process of Biotechnology, Unit 8, Chapter 4 in Botany. So, already we have discussed about the methods of modern biotechnology. Now, we are going to discuss about the advancement in the field of modern biotechnology. This modern biotechnology embraces, embraces means create interest in genetic manipulation, protoplasmic fusion techniques and improvements made in the old biotechnological process. So, these are the fields which creates interest to know the biotechnology. Okay, a major advancement in modern biotechnology is discussed in this topic. Genetic engineering. So, what is engineering? To design and to create the engine that is engineering that is the engineering to create and design the um, with the help of techniques you are creating and you are designing and you are uh, expressing the expressing so that is engineering like that here you are going to manipulate the genes and you are go going to make up the DNA ok and you are going to design the DNA so the DNA genes are deals with the genetics so it is called as genetic engineering so, genetic engineering is also called as recombinant DNA technology or gene cloning. So, gene cloning is also genetic engineering. Recombinant DNA technology is also uh, genetic engineering. So, recombination, already you had heard, heard this word recombination in your second lesson, classical genetics. That is the traditional recombination which occurs naturally. So, the recombination occurs through crossing over or through linkage. You are getting the recombination. If you have any doubts, go to the previous videos in the second lesson of botany. I had posted about this recombination. But in biotechnology, you are making the recombination artificially. So, with the help of technology, that that is called our DNA technology or recombinant DNA technology or gene manipulation technique. Okay, gene manipulation technique. So, how this DNA technology, our DNA technology is uh, done in the laboratory artificially by using special agents that is specific agents are there. Vectors or using instruments like electrophoration, gene gun, uh, lipo, uh, liposo mediated, chemical mediated transfer and micro injection. So, these are the instruments used in genetic engineering or recombinant uh, technology and the vectors. So, the vectors we will see in detail in the next class and you must know electrophoration and you know the electric drill, you have seen the electric drill, the drill machine putting uh, uh, drills in the walls in our house. Okay, that is, uh, it is uh, during plumbing we can see, okay, plumbing work. So, like that, with the help of electric field, the pores are put in the cell that is in the nucleus in that to in the DNA. So, that method is called electrophoration. Gene gun method, gene gun, gun is what? You are pointing at a point and you are shooting. So, like that, the correct place. The gene has to be inserted with the help of gun. So, that is called gene gun method. Liposomes mediated, that is lip, lipids, that had been transferred with the help of the technique. And chemical mediated transfer is also done. And micro injection, how the injection, for us they are putting no injection, like that is micro injection, is, it is very minute minute and way to insert the DNA molecule or the genes inside the uh, inside the corrected method that can be done by the micro injection. And these are the steps taken place in our DNA technology. So first what will they took means the DNA of the chromosomes this, that is that contains the gene of interest. So they are taking this chromosome they are isolating the DNA. From this a darker portion is here no? That was isolated. How that is isolated? That was isolated and it is called the insert going to insert in the vector DNA. And this insert 
that is this insert has to be separate from this DNA that is from that chromosome with the help of restriction endonucleases that enzymes cut, cut the gene of interest. Okay, this one. And this side you are taking the E. coli bacteria. So, and this bacteria you are taking the plasmid alone. So, you are remo removing the plasmid from the bacteria. And this pla uh, plasmid was cut with the help of restriction endonucleases. So, this part is cut with the help of restriction endonucleases enzyme. And now this gene of interest and this pla plasmid are ligated that is are joined with the help of DNA ligase. After joining with the help of DNA ligase that process is called splicing. So the gene of interest and the vector is joined with the help of DNA ligase. That is that technique that process is called splicing. Now this DNA is called RDNA or recombinant DNA and this was inserted into the bacteria which doesn't possess plasmid. Now this bacteria is called recombinant bacteria and this recombinant bacteria is uh, uh, cloned with the help of fission technique that is binary fission. Uh, tra transduction transformation like that so many things you have studied in last year so with the help of that you can clone this recombinant DNA after the cloning that is this is the cloned copies that is more copies of genes and you are taking in the test tube and some way used to clear clean the sewage waste that is to get rid of that is to clean the pollution pollution and some may used as the pest resistant disease resistant varieties of plants that can be used so this is the rdna technology and now i am going to explain with clear with the steps given in your books for better understanding so steps involved in rdna technology or recombinant dna technology isolation of dna fragment containing a gene of interest that needs to be cloned cloned that this is called insert so i say no you first you have to isolate the gene of interest and this is called clone insert that is called the isolated gene gene of interest is called insert and that to be cloned that gene of interest only going to cloned okay generation of recombination recombinant dna molecule by insertion of the DNA fragment into the carrier molecule is called vector and that can be self-replicate within the host cell. So this is this is taken from that is this this is the carrier the plasmid is the carrier. So the carrier one is called the vector which going to carry the gene of interest or insert. Selection of the transformed host cell is carrying the rdna and allowing them to multiply thereby multiplying the rdna molecule so you have selected the material and you have inserted into the bacteria and you have cloned it so cloned it with the help of the bacterial reproduction that is multiplication of genes along with the in the bacteria so during that time the gene that is the rdna this is also multiplied to produce more copies the entire process thus generate either a large amount of rdna or a large amount of proteins expressed by the insect so what purpose we had took this gene that is gene of interest so that is cloned here for genes or for proteins when wherever the vectors are not involved the, the desired gene is multiplied by pcr technique the, the multiple copies are injected into the host cell protoplast or it is shot into the host cell protoplast by gene gun method so wherever they they are not using the vectors that is the plasmids there you can use this pcr technique polymerase chain reaction so this polymerase chain reaction what is this purpose of this technique means a small amount of dna can be multiplied more so because of that because of that pcr technique is used where the 
vector is not used and one more thing this PCR technique is using nowadays to treat the corona to find out the corona positive patient because they are taking a little bit of a, a sample and with the, with this help of PCR they are multiplying and they are seeing it okay they are confirming whether it is a positive or negative case so the multiple copies are injected into the host protoplast the multiple copies are injected into the host protoplast Mm, uh, by shotgun method that is gene gun method okay polymerase chain reaction is common in the laboratory technique used to make copies of a particular region of the dna so it used to make the particular uh, region of the dna into many copies that is used for that is used in polymerase chain reaction so hope you understand this topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box i will clarify it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel